What's up guys, it's Ben from Living Survival and today we're gonna to talk about hydration bladders. So stick with me. So there's a bunch of hydration bladders out on the market today. And for this video, I'm gonna show you the top three, the ones that I use and the ones that I like best, as well as their technology and why I like them the best. Smaller packs such as day packs, assault packs, three day packs, and then all the way up to backpacking and hiking style packs, all generally will contain a slot or a zipped compartment for a hydration bladder. Generally water bladders come in one liter, 1.5 liter, two liter, and then on up to three liter, depending on the amount of hydration you're gonna need and the size of hydration bladder that will fit in your particular pack. So some of the things to look for when selecting a bladder are, are they taste free, BPA free? Are they easy to clean? How long can you store water in them? And then of course the size that is gonna fit your particular pack. So generally the way a water bladder is gonna work is that it's going to be in its own pocket in your pack and then the hydration tube itself will run down the one of the sleeves of the pack and then give you access to fresh water while on the move. Some hydration packs will also allow you to fill back up using the tube itself, which is very handy since you don't have to take the actual bladder out of the pack. Good things to look for on packs are those that have connectors, in this case Velcro, or some other sort of connection system that you can run your tube down so that it's not flopping all over the place when maybe you're running, riding a bike, or things of that nature. So another thing you can get to help control your drink tube on your shoulder pad is I believe they call these web dominators and basically it's just hooks on to the webbing there and then it just has a piece of shot cord that comes over and hooks on and it will keep your drink tube nice and organized on your shoulder strap. Typically, if your pack has hydration, it's going to have a way to run the tube down either side of the pack. Generally, packs such as this one will have either their own zippered compartment. As you can see here, it has its own separate compartment for the hydration bladder. Then they'll have some sort of way to attach it. In this case, it's a Velcro nylon strap that holds up the water bladder. That's nice because then your water bladder, once full, is not gonna sink down to the bottom of your pack. It's gonna stay upright and evenly distributed, in this case, against your back. And then they will also have a flap out the back, out the top, or out either side, usually uh, with some sort of cover over it to run the hydration tube out and down the sleeve. I'll show you a different pack here. You can see on this one, it's just a Velcroed compartment in the back, and then the tube would just run out the top here. It doesn't have a specific uh, port for the tube to run out of. On this larger backpacking pack from Granite Gear, you can see here that once we get into the top of the pack and we fold it down, this particular one has its own zip pocket inside the pack, which then you could put your hydration down it has a little hook here to hold the top of the bladder up. And then of course, you can run your tube out this little slot here. All right, so let's take a look at some of the water bladders that I use. This is the Platypus, they call this their Big Zip LP. This one comes in a 1.5 liter, a two liter, and then this size, which is the three liter. What I like about the Platypus is that it's very affordable. I also have the Platypus uh, water filter system and it's a gravity, it's called their gravity work system. And I like that a lot, so I like their bladders as well. They work great for just a basic bladder. This is their low profile model, so it, um, it stays pretty low profile when full. This is what they call their slide lock, and I like this because it's a very large opening. You can get your hand in there and clean it, and you're not, you don't have any valves or anything like that to poke you in the back when this thing is full of water. So you basically just slide this off to the side and you can see it's got a retention string there so once you slide the top open you can see that you can get a, you know a tool in there like a cleaning brush and you can clean the inside it's clear so that you can see if there's any sort of like scum buildup or anything like that you can see in the middle here that there is a baffle so when full it only allows it to expand so much and it basically keeps its shape so that's a nice feature to look out for as well it's taste free and also BPA free. It has what's called their silver ion antimicrobial uh, coating. 
So you can leave water in here for a week or so, uh, maybe even longer, and it will still be okay and still taste okay. And then at the bottom here, just like on their Gravity Works, they have the quick release with auto shut off. Once you filled it back up, you just slide the uh, handle back onto the top and then you can reattach this to your bag. Now some bags will attach at two points and you can attach it like that and then others will attach just in the center here. And again you want to get the right size bladder for your bag. A three liter bladder is generally going to be used for the bigger backpacking or hiking style bags. Two liter and one liter are going to be used for your three day packs um, and your day packs. So the bite valve on the platypus features a bite valve which you basically just bite and then the water starts flowing. It also does have a shut off. You switch, the, you spin the whole thing uh, to shut it off. And then they include a little clip here that you could clip it onto your shoulder strap. So I do like the platypus over the basic camelback bladders, although it is fairly similar. The camelback version that I do like is their mill spec or what they call their antidote series. These feature a darker bladder that's uh, black on the inside, a nice hook up top for hooking on to you know just a single nylon webbing which most packs have it's got a nice large opening here although it doesn't open all the way at the top for getting like a brush or something like that in there or even your hand to clean it like some of the other ones do it does have this wide mouth opening here and so you can actually get tools and things like that in there to clean it out so this is their two liter a little bit smaller again this would be good for uh, day packs or for uh, three day packs 72 hour packs on the bottom here with the valve, again, just like the platypus, it has a quick release with auto shut off. The drink tube is insulated, which I find is really nice. Uh, it keeps your cold water a little bit colder and then also it keeps out the sun. So looking at the other end of the uh, drink tube here, you have an off on shut off here. It has a quick release, which is nice. You can put an inline water filter on that and uh, filter the water so you could fill up really anywhere which is great and then on the bite uh, valve itself they call this their QL Hydrolock bite valve. The Camelback Antidote is also BPA free and taste free. So if you want to step it up a little bit more you can go with this Source Tactile WXP low profile hydration bladder. It features the same opening on the top as the platypus where you can slide the top off and gain access that way which is great for cleaning and adding things like ice that you can't do with the smaller valve here. It also does have the valve. It has a way to hang the, uh, the, the hydration bladder there, similar to the Camelback, and then it also has another way to hang it up top for different bags and the different ways that they attach to the bladder. This one is also a low profile design, great for body armor and vests. It is BPA free and taste free, and this one has a FDA approved feature to it called Grunge Guard, which you can literally leave water in this for one to two weeks and it's still going to taste great uh, and not, you know, mold or anything like that. This one also, like the platypus, features an internal baffle, so it's going to stay low profile no matter how full you have it. So this is their 3 liter, the WXP version, the low profile version. They also do have a Storm uh, model that comes in the 3 liter as well as a 2 liter. At the bottom here, again, this one features a quick release for the hydration tube. It does also have a wrapped tube. So unlike the platypus or the camelback which feature a bite valve, this one just has what they call their storm valve. It's an on and off valve. So once it's on, water is flowing and once it's off, uh, water is not flowing. So it's a little bit different. Uh, you can drink this just like drinking out of a straw for those of you that don't really like a bite valve. Then of course it has the quick release up top for adding things like an inline water filter and a cover for the valve itself. Another cool feature of the WXP by Source Tactical is this quick fill adapter. Basically, you can just take your uh, storm valve off, pop this right in line, and then you can actually dump upside down a water bottle, or you can put this onto you know, a, a hose spout, for example, and you can fill your pack directly from here without having to take it out of your bag or off your back. So we all know having water is essential and a bladder makes it easy to carry up to three liters of water on your back without having additional containers. They also make you know, plenty of accessories for filtering water or for filling up on the go. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at some of the water bladders that I use and some of the features that I look for when selecting a water bladder.
Guys, please give this video a huge thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. I know YouTube's comment system's been goofing up lately and it's been hard to respond to comments, but I will do my best to respond to any questions that you might have concerning hydration bladders. Make sure you share this video on all your social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And as always, guys, click that subscribe button for more videos. Nice.